Hey everybody, welcome back. In the last video, we created a, a screen with a button on it and we ran it in the emulator. So this is the emulator here. This is Android Studio, that's the button we created. And then we have Android Studio, which are, we have the emulator, which happens whenever, you, which launches whenever you hit the run button there. So currently this button doesn't do anything. So it just kind of sits there. It's this kind of pinkish button. Today, we're gonna make it actually do something. So come back into here and let's go ahead and open up mainactivity.kt. That stands for Kotlin. This is a Kotlin file. I um, mean, if the tab's already open, you can just click on the tab and it'll open this screen up with a bunch of code on it. Or if it's closed, uh, you can open up the project panel on the left. Make sure you select Android. Uh, then you can kind of open up these. These are basically kind of like folders and stuff. We can open up the com folder and uh, then main activity. So not the test ones. Those are for testing, which you may get into later. But for now, we just need the one inside of com, example, first game. Or actually, it's not going to be example. It could be something else, whatever you put in a previous video. But go ahead and just open up main activity. And there, you'll see a lot of code here. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the stuff we don't need. So your code should look general. It should look pretty much like this because we both started off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of that code. I'm going to delete it. And I'm also going to delete some of this code here. Uh, we don't need it. So, so it should look like this. Your code should look like this. So we have our content main. This is where our layout lies. And that's inside of resources, layouts, other than content main. So we have our button there. We're going to link this button to some Kotlin code to make it do something. So what do we need to do? First, let's give this button an ID. So go ahead and click on the button. And if you'll notice on the right, you'll see an attributes panel there. It has an ID of button. So we'll call this, uh, we'll call it um, big hit enter. So it's called big button. So let's go to Kotlin and uh, let's go to main activity. And right after set, set action bar here. So right after there, make some space and let's type big button. It should show up here. Yeah, so start typing big button and you should see it automatically prompt for big button and it'll fill out the rest of the way. What we need to do is just hit enter and then it automatically adds some stuff at the top of the file, which you can access by opening or closing that. That's exactly what we need. So now let's put a dot and then set on click. Oops, if I can spell that right. Click listener. And let's select this right here, the one set, set on click listener with the two brackets or with the two uh, brackets there. And let's go ahead and do this. What do we want to happen whenever somebody presses on there? Well, for now, let's go ahead and kind of debug this a little bit. So let's do this. Let's type D, and then let's type your name. And then let's say mess, I will do button. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna go ahead and run it up there. And again, your emulator should show up the one that you, uh, the one that you created before in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that same emulator, hit okay, and let's go back to the, go back to the emulator and let's see what happens. So wait a couple of seconds and grade will build. It says install an APK. You can see it's doing something there. And this section could take a couple of minutes. Okay, now if we click on the button, see nothing happens. We wanna to go to a new screen though. But we did add, we're basically saying, hey, that big button, every time it's pressed, do that code. So if we come down to the log cat and we open this up, and if we search for Daniel, actually that's, yeah, we can see if you kind of look through these logs, and some of these are kind of hard to tell what's going on here, but there are a bunch of messages. But you can select a verbose, and you can see it says Daniel button was pressed. So that's the same text right there. So if I go back to the emulator, and if I hit the button again, you'll see every time I hit a new button, a new line shows up there. So see, if I click it a bunch of times, it shows up a lot of times. So every time you click that, it's basically just executing that code right there. Okay, so now what we want to do is, actually, I don't even know what we want to do. Probably in the next video, uh, we'll actually make this button actually go to a new screen. But for right now, we can at least see that we're actually showing, we're actually, something's actually happening. What I want to do is change the colors. So see how there are the colors there? It's kind of a green color and a pink color. What we can do is we can open up, so say if all of this is closed over here, open up app, resources, or res, values, then there should be a colors.xml inside of there. Make sure the project's open and make sure that's on Android. And if we click on, you'll notice there are three colors here. There are three lines. There's color primary, color primary dark, and color there. What we can do is we can select one of those colors and we can make it any color we want to make it. So say we want to make it, 
yellow for whatever reason. We can make this one all, we can make this, uh, uh, let's see, let's make it that color. Why not? Make it that color. We can make it any color you want. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. This one I'll make it black. You, you can also like click and drag around there to make it different colors. But I'm going to make it black. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And if we go back to content main, you'll see, I'm going to go ahead and close that, but you'll see the colors change there. So my, this doesn't look very good, but uh, get, hopefully you'll work in with the designer, somebody who designs stuff and knows what they're talking, knows about color. Okay, so go ahead and hit the run button. And let's go back to the emulator here. And you should notice that the colors changed, and they did. Terrible colors. Let's go back. Uh, I don't don't like those colors. Let's do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make it. I'm gonna make it a kind of reddish color. I'm gonna make that a little red. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker red. And this one's gonna be black. So I'm gonna save it and open code style. This is just something you probably don't have to do, but I'm gonna select Android there. Hit OK. OK. So I have these new colors there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit run again. Uh, then we should see the colors in the emulator here. So I'll wait a couple of seconds, and there it is. So we have a little darker status bar color, we have a toolbar color, then we have the accent color, which is making the buttons black. So in the next video, we'll actually make the button actually go to a new screen. So I'll see you in the next video.